So it puts about $96,598 to the good. But then you take the scars that we've got to come out of that money, that we've got to pay back of $116,537, it's, we're going to have a negative then of about $20,000 in mortgage tax. In uh, sales tax, we've got two checks. And if you annualize that, it's $974,854 versus a million. So we're short about 25000 So the number I've got down here is not correct. I said it was 91000 but I have to do the correction on that. And, um, and, uh, and what I tried to do is translate that to taxes. But if you take 91000 Take ninety-one thousand divided by our seven and a half million dollar budget. That's about one point two percent of the budget, which then says that if we could be clairvoyant and look backward at the time we were putting our budget together, we should have taxed uh, accordingly and had tax increase of one point two percent more than what we had taxed, just to make up for the lost revenue. Now we're in May fifth month of the year. <clears throat> this takes us, uh, it's still early on, but the things that bother me a little bit is, you know, we had that $8,000 tax write-off incentive for first home buyers, which might make that 165 mortgage tax higher now than perhaps it'll be in the next go-round. Well, who, who knows what's going to go on. Yeah. Uh, so, but anyway, just, just for education, because what it says to me is, we need to watch our expenditures at the current time. We do not have an overabundance of money, and uh, we just need to keep monitoring that. Like buying a truck for twelve thousand two hundred fifty dollars versus one hundred eighty-five thousand. You know. So, yeah. um, okay. does the does the uh, sales tax for the fourth quarter tend to be larger? The first one we've got, the fourth quarter comes in the first quarter. So the, the first one we had here of the 239 was Christmas, that fall oh, quarter. Yeah. Well, yeah. The last one we got is 248, so the second yeah. quarter was, was better. better. Yeah. So there's some figure. Yeah, but a good question. And the next one will probably be pretty good because so the Woodbury Commons works great for, for you know, the days we can and all that sure. outside the facility. Yeah. You know, the way you walk around. Yeah. <coughs> that might be sense. <laughs> okay. Um, does anybody else have anything they'd like to talk about? In the yeah, just one of yeah. uh, Wednesday night, I just want to know how that thing went Wednesday night at the uh, Hacienda because I was leaving from North Carolina. I'll tell you. Yeah. Did you see it? I never saw something come. They just get bigger and bigger. And I, uh, oh, I was I pulling know. out. And the cars were parked up at the building that they're, uh, you know, the, yep. uh, what do you call it? Well, uh, oh, no, Owen Mur Murphy's Murphy. match point. They were walking down the side of the roads all the way from Owen's Murphy. And I, you know, there, I, there was a lot, a lot of cars. I mean, they were all over the place. And I don't know how it worked out. Hopefully, we'll find out from the chief. Well, you know, I've not heard any No, I get complaints. But it was scary. I, I just, I was yeah. driving up and having all these people on 17M. Walking, you know, side by side, coming down. It's a whole god, you know. So, as far as it, it, it probably past the light. We probably ought to have a critique from the chief on what he thinks, if anything, we need to do differently. Because if it was that big this year, it would probably be even different. Well, hopefully, well, next year they'll have the other place. Yeah. yeah. That's true, but don't forget, uh, the other place might not have the tent. This place has the big tent. They got a lot of property at this place. Big, big white tent there, 100 by 20, something like the firemen have. Big. So still, even if they went to the other place, they're still going to be still Yeah. I'm just saying, I just want to know how it works out because well, the reason I say this, they might have to get some security. They get security. Huh? Do they have security? I'm just saying. Can I say they hire an hour, what, three, like 11, 13, 12? People just kept on yeah. coming? Yeah. They come. Uh, and we're going to stop. Not part of the I bet our sales checks could be really good. I'm talking about six thirty. Oh, that was five o'clock. That place was packed. But anyway, okay. Something. 
Yeah. Well, you know, the chief will be here Thursday night. That's a good question we could ask. Okay. Anything okay. else? Nope. Good. Well, by the way, I'm glad someone's having a, a great business event in Go the town of Goshen. That's good. Okay. Would someone like to make a motion? We adjourn the meeting and go into executive session with the intent not to return to talk about PD and personnel, PD negotiation status, ADC litigation. Alturi tax tertiary status. Do we have any privileges? No. 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 We got Thursday. Anybody? And then timber trail litigation. <coughs> no more. Second. Your second. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion okay. carried. Now, if someone wants to say something, yeah. go for it. Yeah, go ahead. Doug, I mentioned to you before about uh, Ray McNeil, uh, former a council person in Woodbury, also Sheila Conroy and Bob Farmerjay. They have done a lot of work on this water this water loop. And they have given presentations around the county to various villages and towns about the pluses and the minuses of this thing. And according to what Lorraine has told me, there's more minuses than there is pluses. Now, I was at a meeting where she debated David Church. I was not satisfied with his answers. And those three would be available if anybody in the board would like to talk to them prior to committing to Mr. Diana and his uh, plan. They're all on the town board in Monroe? No. No. None of them are public officials anymore. They're all out of office. All out. Right. So they're private citizens that have taken up to do the research for the people and what this would in fact either bring or detract from an area and how the water loop and the controls, where the control lies, who, who will have access, who will not have access. We, so, uh, we had David Church and uh, <coughs> his, his uh, paid consultant come in and talk to us a couple weeks back and now we've got the document maybe what we could do is when we go through this document ourselves if we see areas that are gray we want more information like ask you those names of those people again we could have them come in yeah I, I think it would be worth okay. the endeavor to do it because their uh, when they get their presentations it's very well received well, how long does it take? I would Did say they do it 15 minutes. I would say 15 minutes to a half hour. But if you review it and you have questions, that's even. Well, I mean, we've got the material here, and we. I'm going through it. I'm asking the board to go through it. You turn me off, you know. Exactly. Well, and don't turn it back. So the. Uh, We'll see where we're at on it, and, and if we think... Well, yeah, it's an option. If you want to take advantage of it, fine. If you don't, well, nothing, eventually no, nothing great. Well, I've been to three of those meetings around the county, and not, I haven't heard a public official yet with the paper. They came from Rockland County mm -hmm. to warn the citizens of Orange County to be right. wide, wide open. Yeah, just quite yeah, There's right, things right. in there that we, I have, after I went through it, about the future taxation yeah. finances, because it's not clear what what the intent is ultimately, and so that was with some of my questions, and that's why I like the board to read it and discuss well, it. Well, I know the three have also consulted with Jay Beaumont, who was the former head of the Water Commission here in the county, and he's had a lot of input also in this, and he's very highly respected, even by David Church, because right. the meeting I went to. Church was lauding him, quote unquote. He was the godfather of the water loop and the water, you know, all the water situations and the mapping and everything. So I throw it on a table. It's good. You know, and Goshen is involved in it. I mean, if you oh, look absolutely. Oh, yeah. If you look at the map, we're right on there. Bill, 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 was not from the force. You cannot. She spoke out against it also. She also had sat down with Lynn, or with uh, Lorraine. There was no bill address of it. Well, like the fish. Good. For, concern. For what it's worth, the, the two municipalities that are at the top of the list are Walk Hill and Goshen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Appreciate the input. Yeah. yeah.
Um, these uh, Orange County Emergency Services training, uh -huh. is that open to the general public? I mean, if I wanted to go and take that, could I take it? I, I know you have to call them as a newscaster or whatever.